A itty bus. Itty bitty living space, like the genie. Itty bitty living, living space. space. But we got a big bus. So we're caught up in drama. Everybody's talking. Hello nerdy viewers out there, Scott and Allison again with another bus conversion video. So we decided to raise the roof on our school bus. We chose to go with 18 inches to accommodate for his tall height and so we have some extra storage space. And with the 18 inches we get that extra storage space but it still keeps us pretty low so that we can make it under a lot of the smaller bridges. They're pretty much the standard across the country is around 13 and a half feet so we are going to be below that but hopefully that'll allow us to get on all the interstates and highways and byways. As with all of our projects, you guessed it, we contacted Mr. Google to find out what it took to raise our roof. There will be links to a lot of the materials in the description of this video. So now, let's get to the materials you need to raise your school bus. Heading up to air gas right now to pick up my pipe order for the roof raise. We got 30 pieces cut at two feet, 24 inches. Uh, got an inch and a quarter square pipe it's an eighth inch thing th thick uh, 13 gauge or no it's 11 gauge uh, it's, it's an eighth inch thick so we're gonna pick that up and then I'll have the pipes for the roof raise Steel pipe, got it all. We need to still get it milled. Sitting here with my dad, yep. talking steel talking. and metal and customers and silliness. And there we are. Uh, but we're trying to get our pipes milled for the roof raise, and hopefully we got good old Uncle Ken to to help us out. Right. And the rest Mr. of Bovington, big dog. So. He always comes through. Dropped off my pipe yesterday to get it milled at Uncle Kenny's house. Thanks, Ken. And we already got it milled. So that goes, we went to air gas, got the pipes in less than 24 hours, got them milled in less than 24 hours. So our raised stilts, as we'll call them, are done. We're ready to go. Well, haven't seen them yet, so hopefully they are spot on. I believe they will be. And we'll be ready to, to wheel and deal. The last step is getting our jack rigs made. I already got someone on that. Haven't heard an update from it, but I just gave it to them, so I'm gonna give them some time. It seems out of all the people I've dealt with, uh, the welders are the ones that take the most time with their, their things. And it's really just because they're super busy, you know, they, they constantly are doing stuff because there are not enough welders around because people don't do that trade anymore. It's just not commonly found amongst youth, millennials. It's a good skill to have, I wish I knew it. I hope these pipes are good and we'll just be one step closer to getting this roof raised, which is our number one goal right now, to get the roof raised. What problem was that? The problem of getting invoiced for the sheet metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Purchased our pipes, milled to fit. Our next step is get the sheet metal. Yeah. 
Hey, Scott. Nice to meet you, man. Ah, where is this? Where is this bump? You want to get some panel bond glue from 3M to help secure the layers of sheet metal. We went with the 08115 from 3M with a companion applicator gun. We bought the 200 milliliter bottle, but we needed three of them, so if you have the ability to buy a larger one, I would suggest it. Good news today. I think our guides are gonna be done, and we're also meeting with our new friend Lance that might have a warehouse spot for us, he, uh, he's got some space that he cleared out, he uh, wants to meet up and have me check it out, make sure the power and stuff will work for what we need, and then we should be good to go. This roof raise is actually happening, and I have had so much doubt on whether or not we could get this done, and it's starting. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, maybe, fingers crossed. Hopefully he doesn't want a lot of money to use this warehouse space, but at this time I might just go for it. I'm done waiting and we need the roof to be raised. Just got talking to Lance about our warehouse spot. It's a nice old warehouse and there's no heat in it but we're getting it for an okay price until the end of November. So we got a timetable to get this roof raise done and out the door. The door is big enough to fit the bus outside when we're done. And other than that, I think, uh, I think we're good. I got my message from our welder friends that have our guides done, so I'm gonna go pick those up. And we have everything ready to to do the the lift it's exciting the guys weren't quite what we needed so we actually had to end up grinding them down a bit so that they fit flush with our rib rail they work pretty well now they go up and down pretty smoothly here's our diagram of the original rib rail that we are going to use as you can see there's two little points where the jacks would have connected uh, where we were cutting the rib, we actually had to kind of scrap that idea. We knocked off where it was connecting to the jacks and we kind of just used them as guides to keep everything square while we were lifting. Um, if you're cutting in the middle of where the windows are, these will work perfect for you. I can give you the plans, just uh, leave a comment below. You're going to need a ton of rivets, so head over to adprivet.com and check out their selection there. We went with the Ultimate Multi-Grip Rivets because we needed something that could grip the original sheet metal with our 20 gauge sheet metal, along with sections that are gripping through that and the hat channel. Uh, we chose our aluminum finish because we will be painting later, so that doesn't matter, and the 5 8 head to maximize the surface area on the gripping. Uh, you also want 100% silicone for outdoor use to help seal these rivets because they are watertight but they're not waterproof. Okay, I got the box open. Look at that. Bags and bags of rivets in great value Ziploc bags. So these are ADP Rivet Ultimate Rivets. Nice big head to them. You're also going to want to get farm jacks or automotive jacks to help jack up the roof while you're raising it. We went with uh, four farm jacks. Uh, they're 48 inches long. They can hold up to three and a half ton a piece, so that won't be a problem for the roof. That about completes all the items that you're going to need to gather up. Uh, join us for the next video when we uh, start the roof race and all the prep work. So we hope you like our videos and we hope you continue to follow our journey. Um, please take a second and subscribe to our page. Hit a like, add a comment, any questions you have, we'd love to hear from you guys. And check out our website at twonerdsinabus.com. And on Facebook and Instagram.